Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The year-end wizard assists you in the process of closing out your first open fiscal year, payroll tax year, or both years. Before you start this wizard, there are a few tasks that should be performed. You should print out any unprinted items, such as invoices and payroll checks. You should also clear the waiting on bill checkbox within the purchases and receive inventory window for any outstanding vendor purchases. If you start the wizard before you've done this, it will not proceed. You may also want to purge inactive records before this, although it isn't required. Also, since this process can take a long time to run, it's recommended that you do it at the end of the business day. Also make sure that all other applications are closed before you begin. Just like the Purge Wizard, the Year End Wizard allows you to read information in screens and answer any questions to provide it with the information it requests. When you've finished with the screen, you simply click the Next button to continue all the way to the end of the wizard. At any time, you can click the Back button to go back to previous screens and change your answers if needed. To start the Year End Wizard, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to the System command, and then choose the Year End Wizard command. The first window is the Welcome screen, which tells you the date range of your two open fiscal and payroll tax years. You can then click the Next button to continue. The next screen asks you which years you want to close. Depending on the available options, you can close either the displayed fiscal year, the displayed payroll tax year, or both the fiscal and payroll tax years. You may not have all of the options available depending on the structure of your fiscal and payroll tax years. The wizard will prompt you as to what it thinks is the correct choice. Select the correct option and then click the next button to continue. If you still have unprinted items waiting to be printed for the year that you are trying to close, Sage 50 will then display the unprinted items window. You should print out any unprinted items as you cannot do this once you've closed the year. The next screen is the Print Fiscal Year End Report screen. So that you have a proper audit trail for your company, Sage 50 strongly recommends that you print all fiscal year end reports. You cannot do this once this process is complete. However, if there are any reports that you don't want to print, you can deselect the box for that report from the table in this window. Now when you click the next button to continue, all selected reports will print to your default printer, so you should check toner and add paper before clicking next if needed. If you're using Sage 50 Premium Accounting or higher, you will then see a screen that recommends that you run the Internal Accounting Review. If you want to run it, click the Internal Accounting Review button, otherwise click the next button to continue. We will discuss this feature later on in this tutorial. The next screen will be the Backup Company Data screen. To make a backup, click the Backup button. The Backup Company window appears, and if you want to be prompted to backup your files again within a specified number of days, you can click the Reminder checkbox. You can also select to include the company name if you want Sage 50 to use your company name in the name of the backup file it creates. When you're ready, then click the Backup button to begin the backup. In the Save Backup As window, enter or select where to save your backup file. Sage 50 will create a name for the file using the date and the company name, and if you want to change this, you would enter a new name into the file name text box. Then click the Save button to make the backup. Click the OK button to back up the data, and when it's finished, click the Next button. This will then bring up the New Open Fiscal Years window. In this window, the wizard lets you review the accounting periods in your current open fiscal year and the next fiscal year. If you need to restructure your company's next fiscal year for tax purposes, you can change the date range of your accounting periods in that year. However, it is generally not necessary. If in doubt, check with your accountant before making any changes. 
you can click the current fiscal year option to see the ranges of the current open fiscal year. You cannot change these dates. To see the dates of the accounting periods for the next fiscal year, click the next fiscal year option. This will display the accounting periods for the next fiscal year. To change the end dates of any of the displayed accounting periods, click the accounting period whose date you want to change. Then in the To column type or select a new date. When you change the To field, the From date in the next accounting period would change as well. Click the Next button to continue when you've finished looking at the new open fiscal year accounting periods. The next screen is the Confirm Close screen, and this will confirm the years that will be closing. If you think that any of this information is correct, note that you can click the Back button to find the previous screen where you need to make corrections and change any incorrect options. If things look correct, then just click the Next button to continue. This will bring up the Begin Close screen. Here you can just click the Begin Close button to close out the fiscal and payroll tax years. Once this process starts, however, it's imperative that you do not disrupt it. Do not turn off your computer. This may take a while, so it's always best to do these processes at the end of the business day. Once it is finished, the Congratulations window will appear on screen, showing a summary of the information that was closed, as well as the new accounting period information. You can simply click the Finish button that appears within the Year End Wizard to finish the process when it's completed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.